Two years and three months is how long I had the GTX 970. I knew it was time for a change when the games I played, not AAA games, but indie games, were lagging, were below 30 FPS. It's just how it works. You don't buy a graphics card for AAA games. You buy them for indie games by developers who have good graphics cards, who don't know how to or can't develop performant games, games for computers that are weaker than their own. It's okay, it's understandable. Sometimes you just gotta spend that money, I guess. And if you can't, well, I guess you'll have to stick to watching videos of people who have graphics cards. Anyway, say hello to my new friend, the RTX 2070 S, or Super. My old GTX 970 had 4 gigabytes of RAM, 1050 megahertz clock speed, 1178 at turbo, 145 watts TDP. And when more than 3.5 gigabytes were used, it had problems. Yeah, not the best thing to compare to. My new RTX 270 Super has 8 GB RAM, 1770 MHz clock speed, 1815 if lucky, 215 watts TDP, 4 years warranty. Also a different number of fans, haven't you noticed? Okay, I have to admit, these numbers are not as impressive as I thought they might be. I actually didn't look before editing this video. Oh my. Man, graphics cards are overpriced, aren't they? Anyways, time for real world comparison. The following games will all be on Mac settings I am recording using OBS using NVENC at variable frame rate. What I'm trying to tell you is I'm using the graphics card to play and record because my CPU, my i5-6600, which I kept between the GTX 970 and the RTX 2070S for now, that one's too weak. So I used the GPU to record. That means that my GPU needs to perform even more. But let's take a look. Receiver 2 performs okay in inside areas, but in outside areas it gets really bad. And as you can see my frame rate drops from 90, around 90 to around 74. 60 even. Yeah, below 62. It really depends on what kind of geometry you are looking at and what kind of lighting you are surrounded by. Again, the recording frame rate is even worse because that's additional overhead, substantial overhead. If I limit the FPS to 60, we are still at 99% utilization of the GPU. I guess because we landed in bad geometry right from the get-go. If we're lucky we get 60 FPS, but right now the utilization actually dropped to even around 60, but that quickly goes away once we go into more complex uh, area like oh my here. Here it is quite bad. With the RTX 270S it looks much better. This is with unlimited F FPS. We are not even reaching 50% utilization of the graphics card, I'm guessing my CPU is the bottleneck now. FPS doesn't drop below 70 currently. Now after a while, maybe because of the more complex shadows, we are at 64 frames right now. Getting out of there, it goes to 100. Might be some issue I have no idea about. Anyways, we are above 60, that's what's really important to me while recording with the RTX 2070S. Now if I enable a 60 frame rate limiter, we do drop one frame sometimes, but it is quite steady at 60 while recording at less than 40% utilization. I love it. Look at that straight line. Well, for the most part. Signal from Tova is kind of the reason why I upgraded from the uh, 750 Ti to my 970 actually. It wasn't that great a decision, as you can see 99% utilization with quite some frame drops. When we reach 60 we are lucky, but it's mostly around 50, sometimes below 50. With an FPS limiter there's not much of a difference, just when we look at the sky and nothing else it helps, but apart from that it's the same picture, really. I was quite surprised that we only get around 70 FPS with the uh, RTX 2070 Super actually. We can get nearly 100 by looking at the sky, but apart from that, yeah, it's uh, it's better. It is 60 FPS pretty much consistently, so that's all I really needed, so I'm happy. An FPS limiter pushes the utilization down by about 10%. That's pretty much it. And it drops some frames from time to time. Quite annoying actually. But it's much much better. Stay tuned for my video of me upgrading my CPU. This Siren Head game, together with Receiver 2, was the tipping point for me when I decided to buy the new graphics card. Less than 30 frames per second. With the new card I get slightly above 60 FPS when I limit to 144. And it's around 90% utilization, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. 
And if I limit it to 60 FPS, it is consistently 60 FPS. Quite nice, actually. This version was a bit buggy, though. Have you paid attention, by the way? Maybe you want to go back and look at the temperature values. Compare the temperature of the GTX 970 versus the RTX 2070S. Quite impressive difference. Side note, I thought the RTX 2070S had problems with Quailwine, but I think now it was actually my power supply unit, not the graphics card. I am still working on a video that clarifies that. For me it was time to get a new graphics card and it does what I wanted. I can record at pretty much consistently 60 FPS. Next step for me is to get a better CPU. I already have it, I just need to put it in, record that process and make another video and then we can see if those bottlenecks disappear. So subscribe if you haven't yet, check the comments or the description if maybe there's already a link to the video, if I already made the video since then and I will see you next time. Have fun with your PC upgrades. Until then, ciao!